Thank you for a fantastic 2023. A lot was done this year. This year was the year we launched the first episode of Relax, Shop, and Joy, which was launched in September 2023. And between September and December, we've launched six episodes and had two give back episodes. It's been an awesome, awesome year. And we are so grateful for all the success this year. And we could not have done any of that without your support. We're very grateful for all the support and time that you've given us watching our shows. Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited, y'all. And marching into 2024, we have some exciting content coming your way. So we hope that you will spend time with us in 2024 as well. Hmm? Looking forward to it. Um, and until then, wishing you a safe holiday. Make sure you're safe out there. And as we look forward into 2024, I'm wishing you much success and prosperity in 2024. And we're looking forward to you spending time with us again in 2024. But before I go, remember, if you have not done so yet, to go to YouTube at Relax, Shop, Enjoy, hit that subscribe button. And also on all social media platforms, please make sure you follow at Relax, Shop, Enjoy. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you. Yes, 2024, we're looking forward to it. Thank you, take care, bye. Welcome to our show, we're hitting up the stove Here to help you relax and keeping it real We got the best guest, you cannot miss the gist So come and join us in cooking up a dish show where we have interesting conversations while cooking very delicious meals. Hello, my name is Nidu Wazobia. What's up guys? My name is Lassie Cieleno. Hey guys, my name is Kublon. Yo, what up everyone? It's your boy Clem. Hello, my name is M.M. Etikino. Hello, my name is Lucy Edetisi. What's going on people? My name is Adi Shopralaji, the AK Shop Studio, AKA the Energy God. And I'm proud to be here, honored in fact, to be a guest on Relax, Shop and Enjoy with Didi Aswama. Make sure you relax, chop and enjoy. Give me someone without talent who's dedicated and I'll present back to you a talented you. person later on. You know, when you were talking, it just kept ringing in my head. 10,000 hours. That's it. Who's ready they to do it? They say that you have to put in 10,000 hours whatever craft you're doing for you to even say that you're doing something yes. that's like your baseline to start that's out it. with so now that we are where we are where we're seeing multi-millionaires billionaires in naira come out of the music industry it is no longer uh, a, a career that you're just going to step into just because you're trying it out now you have to put in those hours of practice and research what works for me What's my best tone? What beats work for me? Mm -hmm. What sound do I want to use? Blah, blah, blah. And that takes a lot of work. And a lot of people, especially young musicians or aspiring musicians, are not taking the time to put in that work. Mm, I think the process is more like we just, for instance, maybe comes up with an idea, shares it with me. And at first, we would have to think of it as, oh, this is a genius idea, like mm. let's create it first. Then in the process of creating it, different options comes to mind. You know, it's like, okay, will this work for maybe a or a or a or whoever? Mm. So we, exactly. whoever then fits, because we have to create from a place where we're looking at some type of continuity mm. for whoever is doing something like that already, but hasn't, like this sound we're currently yeah. making can take take things to the next level next from level. whatever they already oh, do. Oh, okay, got so, it, got you understand? it. So we then look for who that sound will fit for as a next level, you know? Wow. So then it's either we reach out to the person or whenever they get to reach out to us, we're, they would, would, we would surprise them with like 
something that is already done and okay. then they just look yeah. at it it's just like going to the store and picking up a shoe that just fits you you like it it fits you so the right size the right, the right size fit yeah. for purpose for that exactly particular for that person person. Yeah. and it's like always looking at the future like okay mm -hmm. what yeah. sound is this person oh very yeah, interesting yeah, yeah. very interesting partnerships can sometimes be complicated yes so in this journey that you've you're going through mm -hmm. what are some of the nuggets that you have learned from you know like lessons learned something you may have done better yes on, you know any type of like partnership or working in team or with other folks? You have to seek advice ahead of advice. time. Multiple opinions actually, because there can be mistakes. And sometimes when you finish signing this deal, some people are so, um, I don't want to say evil, mm. that they would, <clears throat> they would make you suffer for it. So you make sure you ask wow. the right questions and you get your papers like let it be on pen and paper. Lawyer so there's no going back. Yes, you know, involve your lawyer if you have to get family members to advise you, whatever it is. Read contract. Read that's why the lawyer is there because <laughs> they wish they will show you paper. Not that they are not still going to even scope. Not that they will not even still scope you or. Uh, but at least you know something. what you're dealing with. Yes, but make sure you're getting something. So some people are very honest. Also, you know they can tell you for real. This is what it is, and you you know what you're getting hundred percent. When somebody offered me fifty percent on a deal, I was like my mouth was open because I'm like, are you sure? Like are you are you are you sure? He said yes. One time. <laughs> which trip this was i went to nigeria and i stayed with her mom and her dad oh my god <laughs> and she was like what do you want for dinner and i was like chicken pepper soup funny enough or him pepper soup and so her driver goes outside and he like goes and chops the head of the thing i said ah he just killed it like that and everybody was just looking at me like how did you expect to eat it what, where are we going to get it from so it was so funny but it was delicious r.i.p to the hand but it was good did it you just say <laughs> <laughs> But it was yummy. <laughs> what advice would you give to a father out there that may be struggling with trying to balance? Because a lot of people, you know, especially as a new father, it can be really hard. I don't know. Is there a tip that you could give them? I don't know for that person. I try to be serious. It's and true. Just... Me, I don't know for anybody, <laughs> Papa, for outside, though. Let me go advise you. Let me go to your church on Sunday. Go, go first service, second service, third service. If you finish, you go see advice. Me, I. You don't say Nigeria. You don't say See, they may see America where they stay. This is Nigeria. They're going to say, idiot. Because you don't mind. I want to advise me. I don't really advise anybody. You know, say that last month I married. Who I be to advise? I don't really advise. Go ahead and throw your eyes, see, collect her. <laughs> if you like, carry your picky draw up, no catch up. Now you sabi. If you like, catch her and say that you be that girl. Don't do that. <laughs> no, I just did. That's the thing. My, my student did. <laughs> so, no, no, no. But, but for real, well, um, the balance is that. Um, I know you, if you are naturally, if you want to be there for your 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 family, mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll find a balance. Yeah. You don't need somebody to tell you. One of the things that I kind of wanted to set the stage on was to understand what inspired you to do what you do, to use your platform to really give back. Because you're giving back. There are people that give back to people, though, yeah. you know, give back to an organization. But you actually carry yourself yeah. and go to the streets and touch the person yeah. that you're taking care of. Yeah. Why did you do that? Well, it, the funny thing is, I've been doing that for years. It's just that nobody sees it. So it was my my friend that now said, Ah, Baba, I'm going to video this one. Oh. I'm like, okay. Though I didn't want to, because I mean, I believe in what the Bible says that when your right hand is given, your left hand should not know that your right hand is given. Uh. But we just did it. Mm -hmm. um, how how I like helping is giving the people that really need it to get what I'm saying yeah I mean not the people that come on social media on Instagram and tell you oh my mask was lost over my papa fell in that walk away do you know they're all lies I mean if you've got money to buy data then you're okay these people they don't even have phone yeah talk off to even buy data